In search of the answers for today's problem, we have to enter into the realm of time. Soon we will be back in 2020. Alnino, the little boy, son of God and father of disaster, was in his elements about thousand years ago. Nothing more could be expected from Alnino as he simultaneously destroyed two of the major civilization of that time on the opposite side of the earth. The Mayan civilization in Central America and Tang Dynasty in China. Hi, this is Sashi. I'll be explaining how to lessen the impact of disasters. Hi, I am Pankaj and, and in this video, video, I'll be explaining you disaster. Welcome to Life Skill in Herbal Survival. Al Nino is a climate cycle in the Pacific Ocean with global impact on weather pattern. Disasters involves matter, ecological, human conflicts causes devastation to communities. Alteration of the ecosystem has led to widespread and long-lasting consequences. For example, release of methyl isocyanide gas in Bhopal disaster 1984. The interconnectedness of our biological lives, which has been more clear in recent years. Social scientific disasters can place you at risk for mental and physical health problems. Trauma, grief, misery and pain will put personal, family and community relationship under pressure. According to Vedas, all creation are consist of Panch Mahabhuta, the five elements, and disasters are no different. The elements of disaster are Bhumi, Earth, Jala, Water, Tejas, Fire, Marut, Air or Wind, Vyom or Shunya, Space or Zero, or Akash, Ether or Void, and Manushya, the people. These six elements of disaster make destruction on their and our planet, Earth. For disasters, six elements are not enough, as they are growing and evolving with us, but not in the same dimensions. With our technological evolution, we can perceive disasters, but disasters are in different league. They have made technology their slave. In technical way, known as NetX, means natural disasters can trigger technological disasters, also called domino effect. These concomitant events known as NetX. The truth is, no part of the world is impervious to disasters. For example, epidemics, earthquakes, tsunamis, floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, extreme temperatures, wildfires, drought, oil spills. Now the question is, can urban area prepare and mitigate disasters? Yes, urban areas can prepare and mitigate disasters. How? As disasters are evolving in new dimension, so we have to get into the time dimension of planning. Number one, by using technology, authorities can give early warning to citizens. Number two, they can provide quick response at the time of occurrence by executing first aid and get medical attention to victims. Number three, a plan to get people back online after a disaster. Number four, priorities for cleanup after the disaster. We can mitigate by asking questions like How did this disaster or emergency happen? And how we can minimize the impact? Not only people get affected by disasters but utility lines, power plants, subways, transportation, communications, energy, construction, water supply and waste. Two explanations for disasters are Number one Growing population with settlement in more vulnerable areas. Number two, climate change and environmental degradation. 
Result of climate change, malaria popping up in areas it wasn't before. For example, malaria in highlands of Kenya and potential for malaria in the US. Newly emerging diseases can threaten the health of millions of people. In 1918, influenza pandemic killed 50 million people around the globe and World War I killed 20 million. Our modern transportation systems is quick that also makes the diseases to spread around the world more quickly. For example, Ebola. Now we are approaching towards disaster management. Number 1. Quarantine. This historic image depicts a quarantine card which would be used to notify people not to enter or leave a house that had been quarantined due to the presence of a contagious disease. This warning was under the auspice of the Director of Health of the San Antonio Metropolitan Health District. Number 2. Vaccination Created in 1976, this historic photograph shows an adult female receiving a vaccination that was administered by a public health clinician by way of jet injector, also known as a pedo jet, during the nationwide swine flu vaccination campaign, which began October 1st, 1976. Number 3. Stockpiling Hindustan Times says on March 19, 2020, that India has 10 times the emergency reserve for prices. Also, 500,000 fair price shops will be open soon to fulfill the need of the people. Generally, all governments stockpile emergency supplies, but some panic buyers and hoarders among us do not even leave toilet paper on shelves of the supermarket. This image is from Sainsbury's Water Road. Sainsbury's Water Road, London, UK. Empty shelves at Sainsbury's. Number 4. Surveillance and Monitoring by using technology. Applying lessons learned from the MERS outbreak in 2015, Korea has been strengthening its infectious disease surveillance and response capacity. Identifying high priority cases and track the routes of infected people. Korea used big data, for example, GPS tracking data from phones and cars, transactions from credit card, CCTV footage, travel histories, and artificial intelligence to bring the curve down. Number 5. Awareness by social media. Social media tools, for example, Facebook safety check is now a very important and necessary tool for people involved in natural disasters. Safety check started in 2011. When incident happens, the crisis reporting agencies, NC4, and iJet International send alert to Facebook and safety check tool is switched on. Twitter is also a very helpful tool for people stuck in a disaster. But there are also pranksters posting fake and false news. That's the downside of social media in crisis. In Singapore during SARS to relieve financial impact of quarantine, the government provided Singapore dollar 100, approximately 75 USD, a daily allowance to self-employed individuals. For more information, please check the link in description box. So, this is disaster and how our government and system can help citizens in disaster. And how you as an individual can protect yourself from a natural disaster is coming in this series, Elements of Disaster. How did you like our time travel video? The most challenging shot in this video was to capturing a mosquito. So if you like our video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.